for marriage was my crave. I'm buried, Lord, troubled to the grave. Oh, I wish I was a single girl again. Wash in the spring to go to. Got the one to help me, Lord. What more can I do? Oh, I wish I was a single girl again. Hungry Lord, they can't build up their head. Lord, I wish I was a single girl So in this express lesson video here, I'm just going to give you the main uh, recurring little riff that's happening in this song. It's a little instrumental break. That is the intro. It's also every instrumental break between all the verses. Uh, I'll give you the lyrics as uh, as per the Cousin Emmy version. And I'll give you uh, some insight into what she's basically doing as far as her background banjo playing goes, Her uh, how she's accompanying herself while she's singing. On the reference recording here, she's doing this in B flat out of standard G tuning with the capo up on the third fret. I'm doing it up one fret higher up on the fourth. So I'm gonna teach it to you there on the fourth fret. So in order to do that, I have to tune this guy, this fifth string up to a B. Got the tab here for you. And you can see the first couple lines we're covering that basic uh, recurring instrumental break. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the first measure. We're just, it's all open G stuff. We're sliding into the fourth fret of the third string. And then that's part of our, that's our boom note for our boom chicka. Second half of the measure, we're doing this drop thumb roll that you're used to doing by now. If you're not used to doing it, go check out my other lessons and videos. Um, so the catch with this drop thumb roll is we're throwing in second fret note in the middle of that. So the whole measure is. All right, next measure. So the second measure. Get a drop thumb. Here we're dropping the second fret on the third string. That's a little knockdown. And then the second half of the measure, straight open boom chicka, first thing you learned on the climber. One more time, there's a second measure. So now we repeat the third measure is the same as the first. And the fourth measure, 
two boom chickas, those boom notes just happening on the open first string. Shouldn't have to dwell on that too long. Fifth measure is the same as the first and the third measure. And the sixth measure is the same as the second measure. Now the last two measures of this part, uh, we're just doing some two boom chickas and we're going to split that boom with a pull off and then a hammer on. And those are going to happen on the second fret of the third string and then the second fret of the fourth string respectively. So we start with a pull off from the second fret of the third string. Then a hammer on on that same fret on the fourth string. Boom, chicka. All right, so that measure is. All right, and then we just end that part with the straight uh, basic strum on the open G. So that whole part, that whole instrumental break, nice and slowly. So the first two measures. Go the second line. Some repeat ideas. Last two measures. So she starts out the song with that little intro and then she plays that for all the instrumental breaks in between all the verses. So while she's singing the verses, she is just doing some really straight uh, boom chicka basic strumming. The main thing she's doing, boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom. Uh, I hear a little bit in there of kind of alternating a little bit. Mostly she's striking that middle open a third string as her main target note for a boom note. Sometimes she's a little loose with it, hitting a few strings at once. Um, sometimes you can hear a little bit of a alternating bass here between the third and the fourth string. So right now I've been doing a little bit of that. When I was single, grounded, just alternating the third and the fourth string. I'm doing in there is just adding some knockdown and that's another thing I hear a little bit and I've seen video footage of Cousin Emmy uh, accompanying herself and I know she does that a bit where she'll do a pretty straight uh, forward while she's singing she'll do a pretty straight forward and then every once in a while she'll break that up by doing knockdown again if you don't know what knockdown is back up and go grab some of the other lessons send me an email if you need help uh, navigating your way to the appropriate lessons but even even if you're unaware of what that is i think you can figure it out from the context here knockdown we're just doing chicka 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 so as an example i've given you in the tab our first example would be like this this is the whole first line here it's back and forth So that's something when I was married, I'm trouble born, trouble to my grave. Lord, I wish I was a single girl again. Lord, I wish I was a single girl again. So that's using that exact sequence I just gave you on that line of the tab, measures uh, 9 through 12 there. And uh, you could do that through the whole song. Uh, that's really just a guideline, though, to kind of get you started and get you emulating Cousin Emmy. 
Um, I gave you another example there, and the only difference is I added a little more knockdown. You can add your own variations to this accompaniment, um, but what I did here is I added the knockdown to the last two measures of, of that little four measure example. So the second example there for the backup and vocal accompaniment. <laughs> Context when I was very low on the and match this up however it works for you but that'll give you some guidelines in case you need some help finding your way through an accompaniment to this tune especially one that is following uh, the precedent set by cousin emmy herself here another thing is uh some of you might wonder like well what are the chords that are backing up this tune if i'm just doing this vocal accompaniment you just showed me this <laughs> right hand stuff what's my left hand doing well honestly you don't have to do anything on this you can do the whole thing over a g chord which is basically what cousin emmy is doing here when i was married i wish i was a single girl again lord i wish i was a single girl again have fun with this go make some noise i'll be back at you soon